Hi guys, welcome to this video. This video has been slightly different to my last one, uh, last few videos, which has been in the Fitness 101 series, uh, all designed kind of targeted towards beginners and just getting into fitness and counting macros and all that sort of stuff. But today, as you probably can tell, I'm not wearing much because it's sunny. Um, it's Sunday the 7th of April and we've got a bank, bank holiday tomorrow and Hattie and I, you can't see it but she's just sitting down there, um, we are going to the beach. So, come the last time I went to the beach. Do you know when you went last? We're on holiday. Holiday, yeah, so last probably July. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, the time is just after 10 o'clock. Let's go. You're no hero, so don't act like it. And please don't treat me like I'm your sidekick. Cause I watch TV, I see how life is. And it's not easy, but still I'm right here. Pretty, pretty busy here. We're just, find, we're just kind of seeing what there is here and then deciding what to do. Money! We've made it to the beach. So we've been here about 15 minutes now and we decided it's time to get food already. Um, so we just walked through that arcade, lost lots of money. Well, <laughs> I say lots of money, it felt like lots of money. It's only like 20p. <laughs> what did you get? We so got gammon, turkey, a load of veg, and then two small potatoes and Yorkshire's for a t-shirt. So I went for a chicken burger. I didn't realise it was going to be nothing inside the chicken, just chicken. Uh, Jack of potato, that's what that's for. And some side. I think Hattie's going to give me one of the Yorkshire puddings with some gravy. So like, as you can see, it's very sunny and I've got a uh, tank top on, but it's actually very cold because of the wind. You, got, you can't tell, but... Hattie's, Hattie's wearing a jumper because of how cold it is. So as you can tell we're at the beach. We're at Skegness Beach, so which is kind of like the east coast of England. And yeah, well, I just looked basically looked at the weather past the beginning of the week. And it was, it was today was supposed to be really sunny, so I can, as you can see everyone else had this idea. Um, but how long long would you say it took to get here? About just over an hour? Yeah, just over an hour. Um, so it took about an hour from Hattie's parents' house, which we were before. Um, and yeah, it's a bit breezy, but not too bad. We're here for a tan. Get some, hopefully, a nice Instagram thumbnail. I'm just trying to think, what do you think we should do for the thumbnail? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You're the creative one. I know I'm the creative one. You put me on the spot, though. We'll get back to you. We all, you have already seen the thumbnail, but we're trying to get a thumbnail somewhere around here. We still want people in the background. That's a little kid in the background, that's weird. So we've done it at the beach now. We're about there for about half an hour, we? Yeah, had a little nap. I'm um, just going to spend... Try and win some money with this, and then uh, we're going to do it head off. Yeah. And then head off. been tempted by the uh, sweets. Yeah? So I think we've gonna decided to just get a drink and then head off. Is there anything else you want to do? Not get donuts. <laughs> you want donuts? No, I said not. I think you want donuts, didn't you? I do want We've just finished off at the beach now. Um, there was mini golf and some other things we could have done, but we decided not to. Um, we've got a barbecue back at Hattie's parents' house tonight. So, yeah. I did not fall over. Sorry, just, just filmed me, tripped up. Um, and yeah, get some stuff going. It wouldn't have been funny if I'd broken your camera though, would it? No, but you didn't, so it's fine. So look how busy it is now. So we made it back to Hattie's parents' house. Um, I think we're just going to chill in the garden. And yeah, we've got a barbecue later, so that should be fun. Um, yeah, it took about, took about an hour to get back. Oh, we're very sleepy. So we're just going to lie in the sun and hopefully not get burnt. So before we settle down and just chill, um, because we well, we know that if we stop, um, we'll just fall asleep. So I'm going to go on a four mile run because I've got the 10k coming up um, in about two or three weeks. Hattie's coming with me. Did you hear my And I'm just doing a YouTube video. 
Get your socks in a minute. And then uh, Liverpool Jet playing Chelsea at the moment, so I'm going to hopefully get back in time for the second half. Um, so yeah, I usually do this run when I come here. Um, same, same route I usually do. Sometimes I do two laps, but today just the one lap, four miles. Um, let's go! Okay guys, just had some dinner. Um, well, I got back from the run, which I would absolutely kill myself. Um, it's, as you can tell, it's extremely hot. Um, I went four miles. Um, and Hassie was doing a run and she kind of went a bit shorter uh, of the route. She kind of cut out one of the corners, so her, her run was about three miles, just over three miles. And when I came around, like, a sec, like halfway through, I could see her ahead of me come around the other corner, so she kind of overtook me. And I was in my head, I was kind of telling myself, just calm down. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, don't try and catch her, she's so far ahead. Um, like, I've got a longer, I'm doing a longer run, so it doesn't really matter if she's ahead of me because she's got less to run. Uh, less distance and I just like I told myself that kept until I knew that's what I should have done but my legs for some reason just got uber uber competitive and just fucking killed myself to make sure I was I caught her up um, and yeah, I'm not sure if I'm so my face is still a bit red and it's been an hour since I got back from the run um, I managed to catch her up but then as I got there I just had to like just stop and then I caught her again and then I just jogged home and she sprinted and I just couldn't, I was so dead, I couldn't, I couldn't keep up. Um, but yeah, so I got back, I was just dripping and sweating, my face was red. It's only just started to go down again. Oh yeah, it's not, not it's fine now. Um, but yeah, it's, it, I was absolutely dead, like, I could easily go to sleep, it's only about 7 o'clock. Um, so yeah, I just had the run, had a quick wash and had some, had some dinner, like a barbecue sort of thing. Um... And I'm just gonna end the film there, end the film, end the video there. As you can tell, I'm pretty tired from that, from that run. Um, and I did leg, yet, leg day yesterday, so <clears throat> basically I'm just trying to make excuses. Um, <coughs> so I'm just gonna end the vlog there, and then I just edit it, and then we got a good thumbnail at the at the, um, at the beach, so that that's good. And then I'll probably make it live tomorrow, tomorrow evening or something like that. Um, so yeah, probably just going to watch, I really want to watch Wolf of Wall Street, I've only watched it about twice. Um, I think it's a great film, so I'm going to watch that. Um, just before I finish, I got a message a while ago now from someone that follows me, um, saying, kind of asking me to talk about a certain topic, which is reject dealing with rejection. So, oh, two seconds, I think Hattie's talking to me. Sorry about that. So yeah, one of my Instagram and YouTube, I think you subscribe to YouTube, yeah messaged me saying, could I talk about a topic which is, yeah, rejection. Um, and I think at the time he'd just finished university, or was basically just applying to a job that he really wanted. And I, I can't remember now, but so forgive me if, you're, if I'm wrong. Um, but I remember there was a job he really wanted, and he didn't get it. And he just felt really down, and felt like he was not good enough, which um, is a very human, human thing to feel. Um, if you you know you want really want something, whether it's a job, whether it's you want to go out with a girl and you know things are going well, and then, you know she doesn't want to go out with you or she breaks up with you, um, you don't get that promotion at work, any anything like that. But just specifically for not getting the job, I think you got first to pass the first interview, so like oh yeah, I've got a great chance here, with a great chance here, but then didn't get past the next interview or the final interview, um, and he never experienced that before. So yeah, obviously it's a hard it's a hard kind of thing to deal with, especially if you really want the job. Um, but that's just a life lesson. I've been rejected from job interviews. Um, yeah, it's, it's not nice, or especially if you want the job. But you've got to realise there's so many jobs out there, and just because someone doesn't think they're, you're right for that job doesn't mean you're kind of not good enough. I think the main thing is not to really get too set on one job. Obviously, you're going to have your, your kind of favourites, some jobs that you want the most, or some you might not like that much. But I think especially in the job, in the kind of looking for jobs, you need to go for every, anything that you could consider doing and see what you get to maybe like apply to all these jobs. Maybe only 50% you really like and the other 50% are just okay. Um, just apply to all of them and then see what happens. You might not even get past the first stage on any of those that you want. Then you're left with these ones that you think are okay and you got through three of them. Um, and at least it's better kind of have the next stage of interviews on three jobs than if you just applied to the ones you liked. 
So I think the main thing is to not take it personally and just just move on. Yeah. Um, Cause there'll be plenty of other jobs that you like out there. There's no one job that's just gonna be the best solution for anyone. In fact, I I had an interview, final stage interview for a for a job. But I, before I got this job, I'm working at now, I a couple of weeks, probably two weeks before, I was at a final stage interview for this one job that I I kind of wanted. I thought I really wanted, um, and I it was apparently between me and another person, and the other person happened to get it, and. I thought I'd got it. I honestly thought I'd got it. Um, so I was a bit gutted when I didn't got it. I uh, didn't have, didn't got it. Didn't, uh, I wasn't given the job. Um, but then the recruiter that told me said, actually, I've got this other company. Um, they're hiring. The salary was quite a bit higher as well. Um, and why don't you go? So I went for the, the, like, the online interview, did a first stage, second stage, and then got the job which is the company I'm working at now. Um, and this is a much, I'm not just saying that because I have it, it's this job now is so much better than the other job. I'm really thankful that I didn't get at that job because I ended up having three job offers at once um, when I had I had the choice of three. Um, I'm really proud, well, yeah, proud, and I'm really thankful that I chose this job and I wasn't awarded the one I previously wanted. So that's an example of when a job that I wanted, I didn't get it, so I was pretty gutted but then something good and even better came out of it. And I, m I might have really liked the job, but I just, the, one, the job I'm working at now, I'm just, I, I really like, so. Um, I think just the main thing is not to take, not like I said before, don't take it personally, not to get disheartened, and just to keep on applying for jobs. Even if you think you're gonna get another job, uh, you think one job's gonna come through, just carry on applying, and then you have that, you're gonna get the best choice of jobs um, in that situation.